Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Oh, hello there, big girl. You do look silly with your tongue hanging out. You want some fish? Uh-oh. Looks like she's going to shoot some submarines. So this is the first time I've filmed. I hope it doesn't freak her out. That and having the cage open. In the past, you've shut the cage door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that could be a factor. Well, let's just close this just to see if we can make her comfort level go up a little bit. And then I'll, uh, when she, if she heads down there, I'll go ahead and open it up a little bit more. So we have a water drop free view. You happen to be in my. He's not as shy. Wham! Wow. They are good. Hey, George, where'd you go? You were just here. He disappeared. <laughs> She's got the lock on the fish, but... Yeah, I like the way they curl her lip. I know, it's funny looking. <laughs> So she's got a fish in her mouth. Oh, good going, Mom. Well, it's unlike those other guys that got these big peckers in there, uh, right? <laughs> Good. <laughs> he has involuntary twitching because of the fish uh, flips. Yep. Yeah, you can actually watch as the fish goes down the throat as they keep flipping in there. Poor fish. Okay, Mom, I'm sorry. I don't mean to freak you out.
Ah, ah. I see you. There's one flipping and flopping, but I ain't going for it. Maybe he will. stuck his tongue out. You are really silky. Yeah, I'm not going near you with that short of forceps. What's your problem, huh? You know my pink? Not too cooperative. Well, they are when the camera's not on, of course. Come on, guys. We got some nice, tasty fish over there. Go eat. stare at me. <sighs> Typical. Oh, Mom's neck is swollen. Oh, that's where the daughter bit her? You little turds, go eat the fish. <laughs> They're just gonna sit there and look at you. Mm -hmm. All right, do not back up. I'm dealing with this tough customer. This is uh, a very large male Malayan pit viper. He's going into shed and is very thirsty. Um, you know these are uh, these are serious snakes. Don't be trying this on your own. Uh, these guys kill mm, a lot of more people in their range than any other venomous snake in Southeast Asia. They're serious. Accurate, unpredictable. All right, we'll let you uh, we'll let you swill that down. Huh? Get enough. Wolfgang Worcester has told me that there's uh, there's races out there. I'm sorry, I'm getting your face wet. Another freaking tropical snake. Rainforest snake that doesn't like his face wet. Come on. There you go. Sip off your, uh, yourself. 
Oh, I'm sorry. We don't see him very often, so this is nice. Um, as I was saying, Wolfgang said that there are some Malayan pit vipers, uh, when you catch them on the road, they will actually jump up to about belt level off the ground and try to bite you. So these are serious, serious bouncing Betty landmines. Um, you can look that uh, reference up. Uh, it's a term of uh, a kind of landmine uh, that when activated by the unfortunate soldier uh, launches itself off the ground to about waist level, then explodes. It doesn't take your legs off, it takes your midsection off. Um, you know, most landmines are just there to maim you for the most part, and they do a damn good job. Uh, because a, a live soldier takes more resources than a dead soldier. Um, so the Bouncing Betty was just meant to kill. Um, because if you took shrapnel in your abdomen, uh, you know, on battlefields past, the uh, chances are you didn't make it to a, to a medical unit, uh, uh, to be patched up. So these guys in some areas are just like that. Um, this is not fall. Stay back from that one. Oh, believe me, I am. Sipping off the scales. Now notice I'm trying to keep my my fingies out of the way of his pits. He doesn't like to be touched either. Otherwise, I just hook him over. I know you're getting your eyes wet, and you don't like that. I'd hook him over and uh, stick his nose in the water dish. But he gets very unruly when I uh, hook him. So I don't like doing that. He just realized that you put your foot down <laughs> in a different place. I told you he doesn't like to be um, bothered with a hook. Come on, Come on. I'm trying to I'm trying to give you water. Here, here. Look, you're not you're not helping your this cause, you know. Excellent example of scale sipping. Look at that. If you can't, uh, uh, easy, bud. Easy, easy. <laughs> Ready for missile launch. I was going to bring the water to the horse since the horse didn't want to go to the water itself, but all right, calm down. Come down, have a sip. Well, I'm sorry. You're not cooperating. I've been doing everything I can other than taking you out and throwing you in a bucket of water to get your ass uh, uh, hydrated. These guys really have a point yet. Look at that lance-shaped head. That's why they're called, uh, you know, they used to be called the Asian lance heads. Um, actually, if you look 
uh, phylogenetically, that is, you know, who's, who's the ancestor of her, of who, the Asian lance heads uh, migrated uh, and started uh, all the South American species. Uh, I could look it up and tell you exactly. Uh, easy, easy. See how twitchy he is for a pit viper? Here, here, come on. Dude, I'm gonna leave you with a, a full bucket of water over here. <laughs> oh, talk about twitchy. These are the original pogo sticks with venom. Aren't you, huh? You know, and I've had this guy since he hatched. Yes, I know. Keep your face right there and you'll get water squirted in your mouth. Um, you don't like that, huh? You have to rub your head alongside to see if you can trough it up. You know, I have a filling station here. I'd be happily, you know, squirt it right down the chute, but he's not cooperative. Um, okay, is that, are you drinking? Or you just, yeah, you are drinking. Okay, You've, you're happy with that position, huh? Well, I'll just keep the water flowing. Boy, oh boy, the slightest thing sets him uh, into defensive motion, huh? And, you know, I hardly ever bother this guy um, because he's exceedingly dangerous and... Uh, I don't stock any venom for these guys, and uh, the nearest supply uh, would be the Kentucky Reptile Zoo. Uh, the second nearest supply would be Miami-Dade Venom 1. Uh, it's rather important to uh, keep track of where one can get uh, the life-saving elixir. Uh, if you're keeping these, it's much better if you have them on hand. But since I very seldom do much with these guys because uh, they're real live wires, um, you know, my exposure to these is much less than uh, other snakes that I have in the collection. <laughs> 